Simmers and welcome to my second LP which I'm going to be doing along with my Sims 4 LP which is The Sims 3 Generations and I've been really excited to do this. It was a toss up between this and um, Late Night and I've seen loads of other LPs on this and it looks so much fun so I just really wanted to do it. Um, I've decided that we're going to have this in Hidden Springs because I just think it's really like hidden away and like it's like a country escape. It's like really nice and it's like the perfect place to have a little family and make loads of generations <laughs> for you guys. So I'll just read the little description. Celebrities and the rich flock to Hidden Springs in search of relaxation and to escape from the mundane. Many cannot resist rumours of the seemingly miraculous powers that linger in the woods and the waters. Some of the townsfolk who live in the woods are highly secretive and seem to have a pale green tinge to them. Is it really is it really magic at work? So yeah, it's like really mysterious and relaxing. I just think it's stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna jump into create a sim and make a couple to start off with in the game. I won't film the entire process because as you guys probably know by now I take forever in CAS because I just get carried away but um, I will put up a video showing how I made them in a separate creator sim video and I will upload that for you before I upload this so you guys can see how I made them. Um, I do use a lot of custom content. Um, if you guys want to know where I got it from just drop me in the comments and I'll put all the links up but yeah, I will see you guys in a second. So I am back guys and here we have, isn't she stunning, Bryony Conroy. Now originally I had her name as Smith but I thought that is so boring. We needed something better so I'll just go through her outfits with you so you can see because you won't get to see all of them. Um, obviously that's her every day. This, is it gonna, is it gonna come up? So is so. her formal attire which I personally think is stunning. I love it. This is her sleepwear. This being a very sad. This is her sleepwear, which I think is adorable. Her athletic wear, which you probably won't see. Others not bimba. And her swimwear. Balumi la zixna. Which is super cute. So yeah, they're all her outfits. Now, oh, I should go through, her, go through her traits and everything as well. So she's artistic, flirty, has a good sense of humour, a great kisser, and lucky. And she wants to be in a onesie band. Now, I was looking at her earlier and I thought, she really doesn't look like the family type. Um... She seems like a young, like, outrageous person. So I think I'm going to change her aspiration to something else. Because she's artistic, I think I might, like, change her, um, her aspiration. Now, what does artistic? Does it enhance anything? Yeah, I think I might make her want to be a writer instead of a band because I think that's like something like teenagers do. So let's change that if I can find it again. I'm probably going past it and you guys are like, it's there, it's there. I, I can't, I can't find it. Um... Illustrious author. Yeah, I think we'll have a. I think we'll have. We'll have her be like a creative instead. 
So next we have Mayo. Jacob Conroy. I'll go through his outfits with you. His everyday wear is here. And this is his formal wear. I think it's been really laggy because I'm my internet's like really crappy today. Um yeah. Sashko! Just a cute little suit. Sleepwear. Yep so. Some boxers. Athletic wear. Bardunsa. Like, don't like how muscly he is. So unattractive. Um <laughs> and his swimwear. So so. So yeah, that's that's his um outfits. Let's put him back. Come on, game. Yep so. Um and his traits are excitable, flirty, great kisser, handy and a perfectionist. And his aspiration is to have a perfect mind and a perfect body. Now, do I actually like that? Because he's not sporty. I think maybe she should be a perfectionist and he should be sporty. If he wants a perfect mind and a perfect body. Alright, well that needs to change. And he needs to be athletic instead. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. I think I was just picking them around. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get and I'm gonna give her the perfectionist trait because it that only makes sense considering what her um lifetime wish is. Which should I get rid of? Maybe I'll get rid of Lucky and give her What would that be under? Perfectionist. There we go. Her, oh god, I forgot to do their favourite foods and their star sign. So her favourite food is pancakes, she loves electronica music, and her favourite colour is spice berry, and you've heard her voice. Um, oh god, I didn't do Brunard her. Dar. I didn't do her the star sign. Babu. Her star sign is Scorpio, like me. And believe it or not, I didn't even pick that. It just automatically picked the same one as I we am. Like go. Um... Why has his lifetime wish disappeared? For Christ's sake! Right, um, his favourite food is hamburger. He likes indie music and his favourite colour is orange. And he is a Libra. So yes, they are the Conroy family. Batibusa? So we're going to move them into a little house. Erkniebrer? I think I'm going to try and find something on the um, exchange or gallery or whatever you call it. On this game, I'm going to make them boyfriend and girlfriend so we don't have to do all that. Um, because I had a little peek at the, uh, at the world and although it is gorgeous, like I'll show you guys, like the lots, like the houses are really not that nice. And the only one that I did like was quite small, there's nothing really over here. But, um, what does that mean? Anyway, like, you've got these, like, really rich houses, but I think they're, like, occupied. So, see, the lot is, like, it's a really small space you get. Like, I kind of want a bigger space than that. I kind of want it, like, hidden in the corner, like, away from the world. That's kind of on its own. That's on its own. Oh, I like this. What's this? What is that? Little cottage getaway. That is perfect. 
Let's have that, let's have that. So there we go, we are ready to play. Now I'm not going to do lots of gameplay because I've probably spent forever talking about them. But I will try and get some. I might furnish the house and show you guys what I've done. Again, I won't go through the whole thing because I take forever to decorate and stuff. So let's take a look at a house. It doesn't even have an upstairs, so that's slightly worrying. Um, or does it? No, it actually doesn't. Right, that's slightly sad. We have quite a bit of money. So I think I'm just gonna, there's not, because there's not a lot to furnish, like there's not enough, like a lot of space, I guess I will, um, no, I want to sell this. Right, you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm, I completely forget the controls when I switch between playing The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. to their new home so I know they're already like together but like they need to like actually know each other um we're not sending a gift to a friend so yeah we have our little home in the middle of nowhere which is really cute and we made our sims and we've introduced the Conroy family and I really hope you guys will enjoy this let's play with me that I'm really really excited about hopefully the next part we can explore a bit more and do something a bit more exciting now that we've set them up with a home um we just need to do some money making so we can get a nicer house um if it's really difficult to make money on this game i will just go and download one um or something or um build one um that's not too pricey or just you know there's the good old cheats that i don't really want to use but it's better than staying in this damp, dingy little cottage. I would like something similar to this that's quite cosy, but I just think this is going to be way too small unless we expand upwards. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to wrap it up until next time, and I will see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>